stupid people are ruining America. One of the things that I did before I ran for president is I was a professional speaker, not a motivational speaker, an inspirational speaker. Motivation comes from within. You have to be inspired. That's what I do. I inspire people. I inspire the public. I inspire my staff. I inspired the organizations I took over to want to succeed. The endorsement process is an evolution. What you try to do is you endorse someone that you believe in and their ideas and their solutions align with yours. I am an American, black, conservative. I don't use African American, because I'm American, I'm black, and I'm conservative. I don't like people trying to label me. African American is socially acceptable for some people, but I am not some people. African Americans have been brainwashed into not being open-minded, not even considering a conservative point of view. I have received some of that same vitriol simply because I am running for the Republican nomination as a conservative. So it's just brainwashing and people not being open-minded, pure and simple. It's time to get real, folks. Hope and change ain't working. Hope and change is not a solution. Hope and change is not a job. I started at Pillsbury as a manager in one of their analysis functions, then worked my way up the corporate ladder to become vice president. Moving to Burger King was an important moment in my career. Nobody motivates today's workers. If it doesn't come from within, it doesn't come. Fun helps remove the barriers that allow people to motivate themselves. Whether you were talking about Pillsbury, Burger King, Godfathers, the National Restaurant Association, in each one of those situations, I had a daunting problem that I had to solve. And I used the same business principles to approach the problem and, more importantly, solve the problem in every one of the situations. I think that taxes would be fair if we first get rid of the tax code. This is the ultimate solution, not to just say we're going to trim around the edges, not to say that we will try to simplify a little of this and a little of that. The problem is, replace the tax code, so we can establish tax fairness for everybody. They call me racist too just because I disagree with a president who happens to be black. You are not racists, you are patriots. This economy is on life support. People sometimes hold themselves back because they want to use racism as an excuse for them not being able to achieve what they want to achieve. I've never sexually harassed anyone, and yes, I was falsely accused while I was at the National Restaurant Association. Most of the people who are in elective office in Washington DC they have held public office before. How's that working for you? The 999 plan would resuscitate this economy because it replaces the outdated tax code that allows politicians to pick winners and losers, and to provide favors in the form of tax breaks, special exemptions, and loopholes. It simplifies the code dramatically, 9% business flat tax, 9% personal flat tax, 9% sales tax. We need responsible regulations, not regulations that have gone wild. For example, the EPA has a rule that is going to be implemented January 1, 2012, where they're going to begin to regulate dust. That's right, dust. It's called PM 2.5. That is focusing on the wrong thing. If I had been under Obamacare, and a bureaucrat had been trying to tell me when I could get that CT scan, that would have delayed my treatment. I was able to get the treatment as fast as I could based upon my timetable and not the government's timetable. That's what saved my life. The only tactic liberals have is to try to intimidate people into thinking that the Tea Party is racist. The Tea Party is not a racist movement, period. If it were, why would the straw polls keep showing that the black guy is winning? That's a rhetorical question. Let me state it, the black guy keeps winning. Most of the ancestors that I can trace were born here in the United States of America. And then it goes back to slavery. And I'm sure my ancestors go all the way back to Africa, but I feel more of an affinity for America than I do for Africa. I'm a black man in America. We need to lower tax rates for everybody, starting with the top corporate tax rate. We need to simplify the tax code. The ultimate answer, in my opinion, is the fair tax, which is a fair tax for everybody, because as long as we still have this messed up tax code, the politicians are going to use it to reward winners and losers. My motivation for running for Senate was not for the stature of being a senator, but because I wanted to make a difference on issues I feel passionate about. Uncertainty is killing this economy. I'm very particular about the pizza that I eat. Godfather's is still a premium quality product, and I cannot always find that. It's got to be as good as Godfather's or I won't eat it. One of the questions that I often get is, 
why are you running to be president? To be president, what did I miss? I'm not running to go to Disneyland. Republicans have been losing the war of words for years now. Now they are just caving because they don't even want to try. I don't agree with that approach. The past several months I have been able to meet with people across this country. One thing is clear, America craves for real solutions to the problems we face. That's why I'm running for President of the United States. Don't blame Wall Street, don't blame the big banks. If you don't have a job and you are not rich, blame yourself. My presence in the social media and on the internet is much bigger than many of the other candidates, including Mitt Romney. So, when you take the social media and you take the Tea Party Citizens Movement, you have a combination there that, quite frankly, 10 years ago, I wouldn't have had a chance. I didn't know I was a conservative when it didn't matter to me growing up. The Democrats co-opted the credit for the Civil Rights Act of 1964. But if you go back and look at the history, a larger percentage of Republicans voted for that than did Democrats. But a Democrat president signed it, so they co-opted credit for having passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Chris Christie has been saying for a long time he's not interested in running. The media is trying to create a story by sucking Chris Christie into race, just like they made a story by sucking Rick Perry into the race. I ran for president in order to be able to try to change Washington DC from the inside. Our federal government is broken. It's not about me, it's about the grandkids. That's what a lot of people don't understand about what Herman is up to. One right decision doth not a great president make. The way to connect with voters on the plan is to simply give the facts. 50% of taxpayers pay 97% of the taxes. By most people's standards, that's already fair. The president is playing the class warfare card because he knows that a lot of people may never hear that particular fact. But it's a fact. Americans need accurate information in order to consider social security reform. Too bad the media can't be counted upon to provide it. I would have to have people totally committed to the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of this United States. And many of the Muslims, they are not totally dedicated to this country. They are not dedicated to our Constitution. Many of them are trying to force Sharia law on the people of this country. Just call me Mr. Kane. And in 2013, they can call me Mr. President. In order to fix Social Security, we must restructure it so that we continue to provide for our nation's seniors that are approaching retirement age, but allow for younger taxpayers to invest a portion of their social security taxes in private accounts. The American people, Neil, are sick and tired of excuses. They are sick and tired of the blame game. And they're sick and tired of the deception coming from this president and this administration. This is why I believe that I am doing so well in the polls. The thing that differs me from a lot of other people running for the President of the United States is that I focus on the problem first. Then I focus on what the solution is. I don't have more money. I won't have more money than any of the candidates, even the Republican candidates. We know that already. But we are building this campaign team like I would build a business. And that is, we are building it so far with no debt. I haven't learned to be politically correct yet. People who oppose Obama are said to be racists so I guess I'm a racist. The one thing that the president can do is to establish a real energy independence plan. We have all the recourses we need right here in this country to establish energy independence if we had the leadership. It is not someone's fault if they succeeded, it is someone's fault if they failed. I used to vote Democrat. And I'm here to tell you, the reaction that I'm getting around the country, people are sick and tired of this word in Washington, compromise. This is why nothing ever gets done. Let me tell you what the Cain Doctrine would be, as it relates to Israel if I were president. You mess with Israel, you are messing with the United States of America. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com